So what we're about to do today is we're gonna create some nice psychedelic, really trippy, you know, if you're about to, if you got a whole bunch of stoner friends or something like that, you just wanna play something in the background on YouTube, this is how you're gonna do it. We're gonna create it on Blender, and it should be pretty simple. So why don't we just dive right on it? So first things first, per usual, my friend, ambient occlusion, bloom, screen space reflections, run over to the edit tab, preferences, make sure that your default interpol, oops. <laughs> make sure that your default interpolation is set to linear. Now after that, let's go ahead and bring in a cylinder. And with, after bringing in, make sure you set your vertices to around like mm, eight, let's make it nice eight. Then let's rotate it, RX 90. And then what you're gonna wanna do is quickly press G and Y, drag it over a tidy, tad bit. Set your Z dimensions to eight That's for our loop. Once you have that set up, go ahead and drag it on over a little bit as well. Now let's click, press tab for edit mode, select one side, select the other, delete the faces, boom, cool. Now let's go ahead and view front, bring in a camera. You can see we have our camera. Let's play with an animation. Set your keyframe down here to zero. Um, go ahead within your camera for location set on the y-axis and so a single keyframe on zero switch to your last keyframe for me 250 make that eight meters and so another single keyframe boom there you go you have an animation rolling cool once you have that set up let's vertical split this then let's do a quick little horizontal split i like to call this my little default view switch this to shader editor let's make this view the camera okay now what we're going to do is just kind of view it to the, from the left. We're going to bring in a few lights. So bring in a light, I bring in point lights, bring it over a tad bit. You can see this view wireframe. Maybe that'll help you out. Then after you bring in a point light, press shift D a few times and let's just drag them on over. And after you drag it on over the first one, you can just repeat it a few times. So that would be shift D and just press shift R. And what you want to do with these point lights, what I do, speed it up. Select, you might want to, okay. Let's go ahead and go through and just make them different colors. So increase the power by 50, go in, just, you know, taste the rainbow, as I like to say. We'll do some materials soon. We're just going in and coloring this bad boy. That is what I do in Blender. That's what you're doing. That's how we rock. Okay. Make the last one 50. Let's go ahead and just bring in a new one. You want to make your last one match the first one in order for it to loop if your first light color does not match the last light color your loop is going to be broken okay once you bring in all your light bulbs select your cylinder select all your point lights and hold down control press m new collection i'll call it loop once you have that press shift m Let's bring a collection instance, which is that loop. Go ahead and drag it, make sure it finishes. Duplicate that on the Y axis. Shift R a few times or a lot of times, depending on you. Now you can see we have a bit of an animation going. Cool. To double check that your animation is looping right, go to your first frame and go to your last frame. You wanna see the same exact thing. Once you see the same exact thing, you're cooling. So let's go ahead and select our cylinder and our original, and then to the material. Super simple here, super, super simple. Turn down roughness. Uh, let's not turn up metallic. Let's turn on the roughness. That's it. Um, once you do that, let's just go ahead and make sure that some things are set up right. Turn down the strength. 
turn your base color down to black. And let's just set the roughness to a little bit right about there. You just toss some something. What about there works? So, roughness 1.1, metallic all the way set up to 1, and you should be cool right there. All right, once we have that, what we're going to do is head over to our compositing tab. Actually, first things first, head over to your output properties. Let's just make sure we have everything set up. File format, FFmpeg, MPEG-4, turn it to perpetually lossless. Let's give this place a home. Cool. Once you have that, let's go over to compositing. Use nodes. Viewer. Shift A, bring in a reroute, attach those two. Oh, let's just go ahead and render a still image. Cool. Then let's do lens distortion. That's where it gets kind of fun. Gets real trippy, real hippie. You know, you know what we like here. Just bring in a nice little, you can do difference or value. Let's, let's play around with something. I'm gonna do value. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it like that. And that's pretty much the tutorial. Uh, you can go ahead and add a little bit of contrast if you want for some fun. Let's do it like that. And there we go, we have our nifty difty kind of vibe. So let's wrap this up. I'm going to show you how to render. Go ahead and go to the left-hand corner, click render animation. And if you set up everything properly, it should just render out a video for you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you once again for dropping on in. I hope that this video has entertained you. I've hoped that this video has given you a little more blender knowledge or something, something interesting or something useful. And hopefully you get to use this at a concert or something. But anyways, if you create something, please, please, please feel free to just tag me. Like, um, I know most of the time, you know, when we do tutorial, we want to keep that credit. And to be honest, like, I don't mind. Like, I learned a lot of things from other YouTubers too, and I credit as well. And I haven't in the in the past, so like, I shouldn't even be complaining. But anyways, it helps support a small YouTuber like me. Um, and yeah, I want to keep this journey going, and I want to keep spreading the word and think about someone else that's learning blender and think about how you can get them started maybe for my videos but thanks again and give yourself a pat on the back you did it have a good job or you did a good job and i'll see you in the next video peace out